The new British Prime Minister Liz Truss has laid out a terrific supply side economic growth plan, which looks a lot like the basic thrust of Kevin McCarthy's commitment to America plan. Oops. Uh, that clip was from this year, September 23rd of this year, as a matter of fact. That wasn't that long ago. Um, I wonder how that plan all worked out for Larry Kudlow and talking about how it's compared it directly to Kevin McCarthy's plan because it's gonna work out so wonderfully. If you've been following the news all, you see what's happened with Liz Truss, that new prime minister out there in uh, Britain, but now she's the old one. Um, let's more watch more about how that worked out for her. I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. I wonder how Larry Kudlow feels about these new developments. As a matter of fact, let's let him continue his argument about these new policies and economic features that he'd like to see. Let's start with trust. She is slashing tax rates and deregulating energy. She intends to permanently reduce tax rates, permanently reduce tax rates on personal income, corporate income, and payrolls. Plus, she's ending the ban on fracking that was put into place by her predecessor, Boris Johnson. Mr. Johnson was raising taxes, big social spending, and went Green New Deal in a huge way. The results were devastating. Even though he's a Tory, he sounded just like Joe Biden. And as far as these phony deficit moaners from the business media, Supply side tax cuts and deregulation will over time produce so much new growth and so much less tax avoidance that the revenues will come pouring in to finance the tax cuts and then some. Why do we keep listening to people that talk like this? Why does this keep happening this way? He continued on and he connected it further to the conservative policies that they're pushing for economic tax cuts and how it's gonna come back and it's gonna trickle down. They continued one more time. Now, meanwhile, Congressional Republicans published their commitment to America today, and it looks like a pro-growth supply side agenda to me. The GOP platform would tackle inflation by curbing excess spending, by cutting taxes, and moving back to Donald Trump's deregulation policies. Like trust, Kevin McCarthy and company will end the ban on leasing and permitting and fracking and pipelining and so forth. They will move back to energy independence. They're also putting a premium on combating crime and illegal immigration. Plus, they intend to advance a parent's bill of rights in education, make health care more transparent with greater choice and competition, along with protecting constitutional freedoms, including free speech, religious freedom, and safeguarding the Second Amendment. Plus, they will leave abortion issues to the states as per the recent Supreme Court decision and also leave election law to the states. Did you see anything in that list that either has already been tried and been proven to be horrible or also has a lie about what's going on? And number three, though, after Larry Cutler went through all of those things that he was saying, connected it directly to this, uh, the new prime minister who's now the old prime minister, and then connected then to conservative policies and Kevin McCarthy's commitment to America plan, which is, of course, much BS still. If this ad is not cut for a Democratic opponent or just by the DCCC or anybody to point out exactly how horrible this is, hey, situation, result, situation, result. Do you want that here? It should be the simplest thing. If they can't do it, I'll do it. I can get it done in 30 minutes. Just pay me a couple million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, that was awesome. Uh, it could be summarized as oops. So he's like, Liz Truss's plan is perfect. <laughs> and remember, she not only did she uh, only last 46 days, not only was she massively unpopular in Great Britain, uh, but what really did her in was the bond markets freaked out. Okay, so what does that mean? That is, and this is the first time it's happened in my lifetime, where the markets were like, no, if you do that plan, you'll destroy the government's budget. You're cutting taxes on the rich too much. I've never seen the markets do that in, in America, in the UK, anywhere else. But the markets were like, no, that's insane. You will ruin the credit rating of the UK. You're cutting too much from the people and you're giving too much away to the richest people in this country. It's, it's gonna create economic problems. We can't pay for things anymore because you won't take any taxes from the rich. And then what the fracking, what does that have to do with anything, right? And so it was an, it, Larry Kudlow, the thing that he said when she first came in that you just watched. He's like, this is gonna be the greatest. It was an epic disaster, like almost a historic disaster. 
to the point where even his own beloved markets were like, no, no, we can't do this. You got to pull her, okay? And they completely took away her policies. That's what the Republicans plan to do here. He just explained it to you. That is Kevin McCarthy's plan. Guys, this is the same talking points from the 1980s. Well, if we cut taxes, we'll raise even more money. Well, have we? No, revenue's gone down. All, every time you cut tax on the rich, revenue takes a massive dive down. The Bush tax cuts cost us like 5.6 trillion. The Trump tax cuts cost us 1.9 trillion. Trillions after trillions, just in giant dump trucks dumped on the driveways of the rich. And did it come back and help? No, we have giant deficits and debts because of those tax cuts. And now even the bond markets agree, okay? So, and he's like, oh, I mean, and when Trump was in office with Cudlow, they did a massive tax cut for the rich, a massive one. And for corporations, he's like, not enough. Let's cut it more and more and more. And well, how are you gonna pay for anything? Cut the spending that goes to the American people. The American people don't need it. And he's almost like drooling while he's saying it. Every part of it is absurd. He said, uh, "Oh yeah, no, if you cut taxes, tax avoidance will be lower. Yes. But we've done it 18 times, it's never been lower. In fact, that's why they had to pass a bill. Uh, putting in 87,000 new IRS agents for only the rich, for people making about $400,000. And now he's saying, oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. And what did Kevin McCarthy said? Day one, he's not gonna do anything cultural, trans, this, that, the, all that nonsense that they talk about. No, no, on day one, they're gonna take away those IRS agents that were gonna actually try to get the rich to pay their taxes. Because they work for the rich. The rest of you are just suckers. And Cudlow just told you that. At that point, I was I was hoping to make it myself, so thank you for beating me to it. But let me just reinforce it, that that is exactly so telling, not just the fact that the tax avoidance policies that he speaks of never, the tax avoidance on the voluntary, supposedly, tax avoidance never happens. But the fact that they still spew this as though that is something that will ever happen. They just can, they don't even update their lies, they just realize that they're Base is so hypnotized by what they say that no matter what they say, they're gonna still think, oh, okay, right, if we cut the taxes of the rich, they're gonna voluntarily stop trying to avoid paying their taxes. Like they're they're only avoiding taxes now because the rate is so high. But if you just dropped it 10%, we're gonna pay 100%, we're gonna fire our fancy accountants that are trying to shift our money around and make sure we don't pay anything, that'll be a fair amount. It's obviously the only logical thought you can have with regards to that is, the exact same amount of tax avoidance will occur, now make your argument, but they don't do that. To, to your point, Ben, after the giant Trump, ta uh, sorry, Bush tax cuts, which are larger than the Trump tax cuts. Well, you would think that's it, there's no more tax avoidance. I mean, he gave them like a nearly a right. $6 trillion dollar tax cut, right? No, tax avoidance was not only record breaking, but you remember after that, Amazon paid zero in taxes, even though they're a trillion dollar company. You think that they're gonna be like, oh, the legislators did us a solid. They cut our tax. Guys, let's be patriotic. Let's just give away our money. Okay, let's just let's not use fancy accountants. Yes, we could keep another hundred million dollars away from taxes, but let's pay because we're patriotic. Said no one ever in the history of the world. And these guys are trying to convince, but to be fair, their voters are total suckers. So they he has to just give a fig leaf and they're like, oh yeah, no, you gotta help the rich. No, the problem is the elites, that's why you have to help the rich. And as JR said, it's so easy to disprove. Yeah. Literally, all you have to do is take that exact first 20 seconds of Kudlow's clip and say, the conservatives want this. It's gonna be amazing, it's just like Kevin McCarthy's plan. This is what's coming in the midterms. It's gonna be perfect, 46 days later, chaos, 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 resignation. Do you want that here in America? That's what you're gonna get.